Hello, Jose Carlos. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Small, pequeño. Welcome, welcome to all the ones that are connecting. Good evening. Hello, good evening. It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Welcome to your Friday. Yes, I'm happy to be in my house. That's fantastic because today has been a very crazy day. <laughs> uh, almost two hours, two hours in the traffic. Oh my God. No, I, I decided to stay at work. I, I didn't, I didn't go out. I was like, no, I, I stay there. I have just arrived, but I better stay there. It's better. If yes. You can. yes, because it, it is very complicated. I mean, to come out of traffic at this moment, I know. So it's, I better stay. When I better it's stay. It's worse. Yes, because everybody wants to get to their houses and everybody wants to go out and it's pretty complicated because, I mean, you cannot do much. I mean, you cannot hurry the traffic. You cannot do like anything, I guess. <laughs> just to wait. You can just wait. There's the only thing that we can do when when it is raining. So, I, but I don't understand why people... <laughs> people coming crazy yes and they are they want to run and they want to do everything and, and it's like i mean you cannot do anything when it's raining and when there is traffic well but it's very great to see you hello nelson new look hey no cortamos el pelo yeah. hello <laughs> very nice very nice it, it is nice when the when the boys cut their hair because I mean you actually see the difference right but with the ladies it's like que no ves que me corté el pelo and it's like mm, mm. <laughs> and maybe you cut just a little part <laughs> yeah but with the boys yeah you look very different hello Olga hello Cristia hello Rosa welcome to your class and hello, teacher. for sure it is for me a great pleasure hello, to have you here. Thank you. Safe and sound without traffic. Okay, so today we are going to start our class number 15. Imagine we have been 15 days together, like half, half of our life has been together, mm -hmm. right? We have been together for 15 great days on which we have learned many things. Today, I sent you the link for the transitional words, the ones that we were studying yesterday, and for you to have it. I mean, it is always good that you keep uh, like a bank of your vocabulary because you continue growing, you continue checking on, on it, and it is good that you review, right? Siempre es importante que ustedes sigan repasando, que, que lean más allá de, de todos los contenidos que les brindo. Obviamente me gusta buscar como más contenido relacionado al que estamos viendo, pero ustedes también pueden buscar, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? si estamos viendo transitional words, buscar ejemplos, buscar más palabras, buscar más cosas, para que ustedes también puedan seguirse desarrollando en el tema. Ok, so, it is for me, as I told you before, a great happiness to be here on Friday with you at home, safe and sound. And we are going to start working today with uh, for sure reminding a, a little bit of the the highlights about our day the things that we normally do the things that we did today with our friends with our family and we are going to go over for sure the class today we're going to have like a very uh, productive class we are going to work a lot on production today so let me share my screen with all of you. And we're going to work. I was checking on the on the homework and some of you are advancing on the platform, but it's very good 
because it gives you the opportunity to actually uh, start like advancing on the things that you want and that you need to do because uh, after all this process for sure we are going to have uh, like uh, the benefit that we already finished your intermediate for and you are closer closer to the end right then you just go with the with the advanced levels and for sure those are um, a little bit more complicated yes miss Crisia. Uh, good evening teacher Hi. i just have a question uh, with homework number three uh -huh. uh, i really don't understand uh, <laughs> what i need to do because uh, the explanation said well the indication uh, said um, that i need to put the punctuation marks i think but i put the punctuation mark and all my answers are wrong and i i i'm very frustrated okay I this is frustrated yes this is what we did yesterday as the as part of the class right uh -huh. we, <laughs> oh <laughs> we did oh. it yesterday but remember well we're going to go to homework number three 3.3 i think it is yes Okay, and uh, no, this is 3.5. We remove, uh, okay, res apply the, resp the corresponding punctuation. Okay, so yes. welcome everybody to the class. We are going to start with this, right? I had this prepared for you that we were going to cover at least these three exercises first because uh, you still have some chance for you to finish this uh, section uh, also during next week because uh, that's what we are working and as we have only this one and number four so for sure you can develop it during the last the next week so you can go to your vacation without homework right so next week try to finish everything well and as it is a part of our class i am going to do it first Remember our agreements for the class. Remember to participate, to practice your English, to keep your cameras on all the time, to keep your microphones off if we are not using it. Thank you for attending the sessions on time. Thank you for all the ones that are always here on time and for all the ones who make an extra effort to connect. You see, it's going to be good later on in the future keep a cooperative attitude during the class collaborate with your friends and work on the platform every day well remember that every single time that we connect because it is important right we're going to keep talking a little bit on the warehouse vocabulary and i was telling you about uh, the platform right we were talking about the platform and the different things that have been a problem for many of you Remember, yesterday we were talking about this, right? And when you what? use the connector, right? When you use the different types of connectors, the ones that we were studying yesterday as part of the class as well, here, for example, and if you have the chance to have your platform open, that would be perfect because you can do it as uh, along with me. For sentence number one, my dear students, which one is the connector that we are using? As a which result. At, as a result, right? As a result, this is the connector. Remember, when we have this type of connector between the two clauses, right? La dos the clause que tenemos aquí son, we remove items from cartons and packages. Esa es la primera. La segunda parte de la oración es, Speakers are not able to find them when they need to, right? This is the second part of the sentence, right? Aquí tenemos las dos partes de la oración. Las podemos identificar, chicos. We remove items from cartons and packages and speakers are not able to find them when they need to. Tenemos las dos clauses. ¿Y qué los une? El conector que tenemos aquí es as a result. Tenemos dos formas de conectar la oración. We can do it with semicolon and comma, or we can do it with a period and capital and comma. That is the most common and the most recommendable. So you can say uh, cartons and packages. You can say semicolon, 
as a result, and this is in, in small letters, este va con, en minúscula, as a result, coma, pickers are not able to find. Esa es una opción. La segunda es period, capital, as a result, coma. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is the only thing that you have to, oh, for sure you have to copy the complete sentence, right? We yes. I, I, I think that now I identify my, my mistake. Uh -huh. I just put a one uh, punctuation mark and not two. Ah. I think that is the wrong, yes. That is the, okay. that was the problem. And in this case, as you can see, right here, you have the connector as a result. But we're going yes. to do all of them. Lo vamos a hacer todos y ahí lo vamos a revisar. Ustedes no se preocupen okay. que estamos para aprender todos juntos. The okay. next one. What is the connector for sentence number two, people? Consequently. Consequently, right? We have consequently. ¿Cuáles son las dos noun clauses that we have? The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. And then the other sentence is, we have to waste time to open the box and count the items and rebox them, right? These are the two sentences. And what is the problem here? You say, consequently, you use this one to join the two sentences, right? You use this one and this one and you join them with consequently. The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. Consequently, we have to waste time to open the box, count the items and rebox them. Right, it's like como una consecuencia. ¿Qué es lo que causa esta consecuencia? That the vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. So that's the problem. And the result, you have to waste time to open the box, count the items and rebox re them. So in here, to complete the sentence, you can say semicolon, consequently, consequently, comma, Right, we have to waste time to open the box. Or you say period, capital letter, consequently, comma. Okay, so that's the form that you need to use for you to connect the sentence. And for sure, all the sentence is going to be uh, copied, right? The problem in some cases is when you leave spaces. También tengan mucho cuidado de no dejar espacios, right? De no dejar espacios cuando copian la oración, por ejemplo. Hay muchos que solo hacen esto, por ejemplo. Que hacen esto. Vienen y copian toda esta parte. Y la pegan. Aquí. A veces solo hacen eso y de ahí solo le ponen ya sea el punto y le ponen aquí. Consequently, coma, y de ahí vienen y copian lo demás. And you copy this one. This is what many people do, huh? And I'm like, ha ha. And then you check. And in some cases, when you check, you have difficulties because you leave a space. But as you can see here, it was correct. Okay. So you need to be very careful at the moment of typing, right? At the moment of typing the sentences. So what about sentence number three, people? Can you help me to identify the connector? Therefore. Therefore, right? Yes. Therefore. Therefore. And how can we connect that? Well, first, what are the two sentences? Let's identify them. The warehouse. Doesn't have, doesn't have enough. Have enough the warehouse doesn't have enough stuff. And the next one? We have we to put, we the have to put in, the the in the aisles. In the aisles. Do you know what's the meaning of aisles? No. Pasillos. Pasillos, right? Pasillos. Yes. <laughs> like for Christmas. I don't know if you have gone to the supermarket for Christmas. That they don't have a space to put anything, but they put everything on the aisles. It's like... Aquí pone los papeles higiénicos. <laughs> so, and it is full there. And you can pass just in a little space. And when there is a lot of people, when there are a lot of people at the supermarket, it's a very crazy thing. Well, so, but this is the sentence. How can you connect the two clauses in one sentence? 
How do you connect the two clauses? Ya les hice dos ejemplos de cómo los conectamos. ¿Cómo conectamos las dos oraciones? With semicolon after therefore. Very good. With semicolon before therefore and coma. Coma after. After, after perdón. Before, yes. Yeah, I think life would be better if they mean different because we always get confused. So you say before and after. Right? Before antes. antes and after después. después remember the after party right the after party yeah. is like después de la fiesta is it after después the after after office for example but we don't have before office that's a problem <laughs> you could be very happy at the office llegarían muy contentos a la oficina si hubiera un before office pero no siempre hay after office so you say therefore or you can say period before Therefore, and then comma. Okay, so you can have the two sentences correct. And in this case, you say the warehouse doesn't have enough docks. Docks are like spaces, right? Therefore, we have to put the products in the aisle. What about sentence number four, people? Can you help me to identify the connector? As a consequence. As a, as a consequence. consequence. Very good. As a consequence, and many people say as a consequence, but it's like as a consequence. The conveyor belt broke. As a consequence, there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. Okay. The conveyor belt broke. As a consequence, there is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. In this case, remember, we have to put the period and then a comma after as a consequence. If you copy the sentence, it's a lot better so you don't have problems with spaces, right? Ese es como el, el truco, si lo hacen computadora. So you say the conveyor broke, you say period, as a consequence, or as a consequence, comma, there is not enough stuff to put this is going to help you for you not to put extra spaces on the sentence. Because in some cases when we copy, here we have, uh, I copy everything, even the incorrect. Okay. Sorry, there you go. The idea is that you copy it correctly, right? No como lo, la teacher lo acaba de hacer, no. There you go. Here and here. We copy it. There is not enough stuff to put arriving packages away. I think I copied it like three times. And here you have the complete sentence. And for sure, when you come here, you submit it and it's going to be correct. Okay, so that's what you have to do. You have to be very careful at the moment of copying the sentence. Okay, at the moment of transcribing. So the final thing, what is the connector? Therefore. Therefore, therefore, right? And what is the sentence? What are the two sentences that we have? We have a, a mouse in, in the house. And, and the other sentence? We should get a cat. Okay, this is the problem and the solution, right? We have a mouse in the house. Therefore, we should get a cat. Okay, and as you can see here, we can put the period and the capital letter, and then remember to put a comma after therefore. Okay? So, did I help you with the explanation? Yes, miss, thank you. Okay, so I hope everybody can complete the sentences. And for sure, uh, it is very uh, important that you don't only complete the exercises. A mí me gusta de verdad que ustedes entiendan el concepto y lo puedan manejar, no a veces solo llenar la, la plataforma solo por hacerla, ¿verdad? Y así como, ah, sí, vea, ya estuvo, ya lo terminé. Pero no entendí qué tenía que hacer. Entonces, lo más importante es que ustedes comprendan lo que están haciendo y lo puedan completar de una manera ordenada. Okay. Así que siempre que tengan preguntas, eh, no se las queden, siempre las podemos, eh, las podemos trabajar, las podemos aclarar 
para que los ejercicios sean completados y los puedan entender a su totalidad. Ok. That's one a very. Question. Yes. Tell me. One question. Uh, not always the both, uh, both kind of result uh, apply for all the, the cases. Like uh, if you put it like in a different in in the with the semicolon. Yes. No, it is not going to make a difference. For but most, of, uh huh. I I try with semicolon and and comma in the number one sentence mm -hmm. and it doesn't work. Well, I have it right here, and for the question number one. It says, yeah, ah, there is a problem in the answer. Okay, ese es como ya problema de la plataforma en sí. Uh -huh. Después del punto y coma, no le han dejado el espacio. Uh -huh. Y ustedes como son bien correctos, yo los conozco. Le escribieron el espacio, ¿verdad? Entonces lo voy a reportar para que se los arreglen. Aunque sabemos que lo podemos poner con el punto y la coma. Y ahí sí se los acepta. Porque todas, o sea, no hay como la diferencia de si lo ponemos con punto y coma y coma y, y el same. mayúsculo. It's the same answer. It's the okay. same result. The only difference is going to be like maybe on the reading, at the moment of reading that, for example, when you have a period, when you have a period and a coma, you have to make a longer stop, for example, here. And I can say, um, let's use the, the last one. We have a mouse in the house. Therefore, we should get a cat. Or you can say, we have a mouse in the house, therefore we should we should get a cat. So when you use the semicolon and the coma, you can read it all, all at once, okay? La pronunciación quizá va a ser la diferencia cuando hacemos la lectura. O sea, like, therefore we should get a cat. And in the other one, como tenemos un punto, hacemos una pausa un poco más larga para intensificar el hecho que tenemos que hacer algo. Right? So like, we have a mouse in the house, therefore we should get a cat. Okay, when you put the period and the capital, the stop is longer, right? Tenemos más énfasis en este caso. Cuando lo ponemos con mayúscula, con punto y mayúscula. Pero in the meaning, it's going to be the same. Okay, okay. so that's the problem. The problem was basically on the platform because you don't have the space after the semicolon. Okay, that's the only thing. So, you, but you can go and correct. You can leave it together so the platform is going to accept it. Okay, so that was exercise number 3.5. Any further question, my dear class? ¿Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? No? Yes, teacher, no teacher? No teacher. Okay. <laughs> I heard a cat and I don't have a cat. <laughs> okay. Well, let's continue here. We are going to go over the other exercises, right? The first one, 3.1. And this is what we did uh, at the beginning of the week, right? What was the meaning of warehouse management? What was the meaning of a stock control, distribution center, cross docking center, and warehouse, right? And I hope that you remember the definitions, right? Do you remember? Let's start with the easy ones. Let's start with the easy ones. What is distribution center? We were studying that yesterday. It is. It tells you where the items are and in the order in which they need to be picked, or it serves larger regions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and goods are stored for shorter time. That's it serves it. large regions, 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 and goods are restored at shorter time. Yes, teacher. Sorry, I have two cats fighting here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for my dog. It, it serves larger uh, regions and goods are stored for short time. Most of it, it is used for picking and consolidating 
orders, right? Because <laughs> in this street. Hoy quería el patrocinio de la clase, la quiero. <laughs> okay, so I am very sorry for that, my dear class. I have a little, a little fight here. <laughs> okay, what about number one? Can you help me with the definition? It tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked up. The warehouse management, it tells you where the items are and the order in which they need to be picked, right? Because the only one, the, the other one, sorry, it says it can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little or no storage. And in this one, it is a warehouse management, right? We're going to check it out later on. A stock control, what is it? What does it mean? It means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. And when to order more, right? A stock, it means like, cuanto hay en existencia, right? A stock is existencia, right? The distribution center and the cross docking center. What is it? Cross docking center. Cross docking center. It can be naming a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping with little to no storage. With little to no storage. And what about the warehouse? We have two options here. Parts of the house, small to store objects from the house, or a large building when raw materials or manufactured goods may be stored before they export and before their export or distribution for sale. What is a warehouse? A large building where raw material or manufactured goods may be a store before their airport or distribution for sale. Very good job. Let's see if your answers are right, my dear students. Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> all of them are correct. Right? We were studying these different definitions during the week, right? And for sure, now we have the correct form for all of them. Claudia Maria, what is warehouse management? It tell you where the items are in the order in which they need to be picked. Very good. They need to be picked, right? Picked. Very good. What about a stock control? Orga Marleni, what is it? It's, it tells you where the items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. Oh no, me, me equivoqué. Uh, it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. Perfect. What about distribution center, Mr. Juan de Dios? It serves larger regions in good are stored another time. Most of it is used for picking and consolidating orders. Very good job. Okay, let's continue with number four, cross docking center. Norma Carolina, help me. It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The Cruise is only on receiving and shipping activities with little to not stretch. Okay, it can be named. 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 Right? We say name. like name 
Named with D, right? Named. And warehouse. Mr. Jose Carlos, help me with warehouse. The microphone, sweetie. A warehouse, a large building where raw materials or manufactured goods may be stored before their export or distribution for sale. Okay, may be stored, right? Say stored, right? Stored before their export or distribution for sale. Very good job. So that was our exercise number one. What about the second exercise? And in this one, it says select five common issues related to warehouse processes, right? This was a little bit of analysis, a little bit of um, like a, you have to, to analyze it a little bit more, but what, what are five common issues related to warehouse processes? We can have constant arguments among coworkers. Do you think that's one of the processes of a warehouse? Or inaccurate receipts nope. and purchase orders. Inaccurate, inaccurate receipts purchase and purchase orders. Order. Right. What is the meaning of arguments? What is the meaning of arguments, people? I want to listen to you. What is the meaning of argument? Yeah. It sounds like a discussion. <laughs> Discussion, fights, right? Elinda y Beatriz are peleas. And it's like that, arguments. The, the difference between fights and, 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 and arguments is that in the fight, it's, fish, it's physical, right? It's like, <laughs> we never know, right? <laughs> we never know. I Maybe it can be reasons for right. this going. In this case, yeah, a reason, yeah, it can be. But the arguments, it's like uh, constant arguments among co-workers. What is the most common thing? They say like, es que, ¿sabe qué, licenciada? No, Juan de Dios lo iba a hacer. Yo no lo iba a hacer, dice Juan de Dios. ¿Y cómo es posible? Si a mí, Linda y Beth me dijo que se iba a encargar de eso. Y Linda dice, yo no me iba a encargar de eso. Porque Marlene dijo que lo iba a hacer. No, Marlene, a mí me dijo Nelson que él tenía los recibos. Y Nelson le dice, yo nunca tuve los recibos. And then you start like fighting, right? With this, uh, me and you and this and that. And that. This, is an, this is an argument, right? Constant arguments among co-workers. And then you end up fighting all the time. He's like, ya no le hables a fulano. Muy, muy, eh, mucho pelea, mucho, mucho habla de todos los demás. And then you start like with this gossiping and all that. So it ruins the environment. What about the next one? Do you think which one is the problem? Lack of meetings weekly or lack of communications between employees? What is the most common one that can affect the warehouse management? Mm -hmm. Lack of communication between employees. Uh -huh. yes. The lack of meetings weekly or the lack of communication between employees. What is the most common issue here? It is like, eh, mira, what is the code for the mouse? What is the code? Eh, I don't know. Humberto knows. And Humberto is like, hey, Humberto, what is the code for the mouse? Eh, you know, Christian knows. And then Christian, hey, Christian, what is the code for the mouse? And it's like, hey, I don't know. I never received the mouse. Uh, I think it was Jose Carlos, the one in charge of that shipment. I, I don't know. And I haven't talked to him. And then the bolita is like here and there and here and there. And no one knows because they don't communicate. Problem. What about the next one? Lack of cooperation between departments or extra time for lunches. <laughs> what lack is a problem? Lack of cooperation between departments. Extra time for lunches. No, <laughs> they say like the, the workers are not okay because they don't have enough time to eat. That is <laughs> that is normal. Teacher. That is true, right? <laughs> extra time for lunch. <laughs> well, there are many people who get the extra time for lunches on their own. It's like, yes, I, I remember that I, in the place that I used to work, they say like, hey, and where is, pongamole, uh, Lick Maria? Where is Lick Maria? I don't know. And Lick Maria in Pollo Camper having lunch. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> waiting like for 45 minutes for the lunch. <laughs> so it was like, si vengo rápido. Hmm. Come on, extra time for lunches is the problem. The next one, delays in customs or time management. What do you think it's a problem here that can affect time the warehouse? Time, time management? management? Yes. Right? Because if you are not conscious about the logistics of your product, the things are going to be delayed, but it's maybe it's not going to be the problem in customs, right? In La Frontera but it's going to be the logistics problem. And the next one, the warehouse space and organization can be a problem or that the space is so big. Warehouse, warehouse space and organization. Warehouse yes. space and organization, right? So excellent job, my dear class. It is good, right? Extra time for lunches can be a problem. <laughs> And the lack of meetings weekly. Do you consider people from your professional side that the meetings are always necessary? Yes, teacher. Do you consider that all the meetings it, are it, always it necessary? It depends. Depends if if the meeting is productive. If it's not not necessary. If it is not necessary, it can be an email. <laughs> Good. So are you in charge? This is, the, this is the second question. Are you in charge of having meetings with your co-workers? Are you in charge of having meetings with your co-workers? Or not? No? ¿Son ustedes los que organizan las reuniones? No? No. Sometimes. 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 Yes. Okay. Sometimes. Yes. Oh, Marlene, so you're in charge of the of the meetings. So this is important. So if you are in charge of the meetings, remember to make them as quick and accurate as possible. Okay. So that is that has to be something important. Well, and for sure, with the development of homework number four, that it's something that you can do later on. In this case, you are going to get uh, to uh, rank the issues from one to five. What is the one that less affects the productivity with the one that most affects the productivity? In this case, what do you have to do if you consider that is a uh, number one, it doesn't affect that much. So you say, ah, maybe number one, number two, three, when the one that affects the most will be number five, okay? So that is the one that you, have, that you can do according to what we have uh, seen with the problems, which one do you think that is the one that affects the most, right? Warehouse and space organization, time management, lack of cooperation, lack of communication and inaccurate receipts and purchases. You can balance them on the one that you consider that it affects most or the least. And in the last exercise that you have to do here, the last homework, you have to say, uh, this is something that we're going to check also in class, read about the warehouse safety procedures, then classify them into the following categories by selecting the letters, right? Make sure that the garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse, right? And in this one, you say general housekeeping, falls and other preventable mishaps, manual lifting, Right, the forklifts are like the, the ones that you use to manage equipment. Okay, cuáles son los que están relacionados con el manejo del equipo, cuáles son los que eh, son para prevenir accidentes y acerca del manejo en general. So, which ones are? So, you have to choose if they are like A or B, C, and D, read them and classify them. Claudia Maria, tell me. I have a question. Yep. When I complete that is, is the homework, I only have 96% uh -huh. of the all of them. I don't know if you have a problem. Okay, so in that case, uh, Claudita, maybe you can send me the screenshot of what you did to see I send where... it to the, the WhatsApp group. Oh. Teacher, I, I, it. I think true. it's true. I think it's because the number three and number four is Together. The same. It's together, yes. right? Yes. I got it. It's true. I saw it when I was going out of work today. Only 
15% is not included, right? Let me just open yes. it here. Let me check it. So I can also report this one because in this one, you need to have a hundred percent. Okay. Just give me one second. I need to check on the problem here. Right. In the attended teacher. I am going to do it right now. Yes, for this one, let me see. Uh -huh, it doesn't give me the, it doesn't give me a percentage. Let me see. Okay. 15.0. Uh -huh. Let me just, I'm Maybe. going to share it again. So lo voy a compartir de nuevo para que lo puedan ver. Let me see. Tiene que ser el 100%, ¿verdad? 20%. Yes, it 20 has puntos. to be. Ahí solo nos da 15 puntos. Exactly like that. No, and in this case, uh, it is, uh, for me, in this case, it is not accepting me the answers. Maybe for, maybe because uh, only three exercise. Yes, that's the problem, but I am going to consult as well. Igual se lo voy a reportar, porque ahorita yo lo estoy probando, por eso de este... Es que como no tira un porcentaje exa, exacto. Uh -huh. No, it doesn't have. But it says like partially correct, totally correct. Tal vez si fuera cuatro, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, but in this case, no. Uh, Lo estoy enter, probando. Number. Lo estoy probando todas las opciones ahorita. And here I go. Let me see the last one. Yes, that's a problem. It's 15 out of 20. Le probé Adiós. todas las opciones. Déjeme. Ah, permítame, se lo vuelvo a compartir aquí. Ya. Yeah. It says 15 out of 20. That's right. Uh -huh. And all of them are correct. And yes. it says partially correct. I tried with other changing in. No, but it, I, I think it's I because have... we don't have uh, one answer. I think there's one missing. Only three. Yes, only three. There you go. But I am, as I am in charge of working on the homework and passing your grades, I am going to be uh, pending on this one, right? Voy a estar ahí siempre pendiente de ponerles la nota completa. Okay, for this one. And, well, this is basically what you need to do for uh, this part three point, uh, the part three of the platform, right? If you haven't finished, try to complete it. I am going to see if they can correct that one. If not, with the percentage that you get, I am going to put it complete. Si no le hacen el cambio a la plataforma, igual yo al momento de pasar sus notas, yo les paso la nota completa que eh, obtengan ahí. No tengan la menor duda. Porque siempre estamos trabajando para que se mejoren estos errores y no nos cause ningún, ninguna dificultad. ¿Ok? So, let's call the attendance, my dear class. Ah, we were very busy there solving problems. Remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Kaiser, Kaiser is here, so that's important. Right? Oh. I know, buddy. <laughs> buddy, ya, ya oyeron a, a Kaiser Kiara. is part of our class. Yeah, always. And now <laughs> Kiara, too. Okay, let's oh, go man. here. Carolina Yamiret. Carolina is not here. Claudia Maria. Carito, ah, where are you? Hey. Ay, ah, no, no la veía en la cámara. Ya la vi. Carito. Con la cámara apagada. Ajá, pero yo voy a buscarla. Ah, sí, eso sí, mal. Ay, oh my God. Carito. Sí. Well, but Ay, it's... Sí. At least it, le dije yo, le dije a los de inglés corporativo que me sentía mal y me dijeron que me conectara con la cámara apagada por, por el tiempo. Con ninguna me yes. funciona. Ok, pero espero que ya Claudia, Carolina le, le funcione el reposo del fin de semana y pues que ya se sienta muchísimo mejor el día lunes. Tómese la medicina. Pero que sí, porque también termino casi termino el tratamiento ya en esos días y es que el tratamiento que me han dado me da unas grandes náuseas entonces oh. de revés. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you feel better soon. So, we Ay, are amigo, always been... no. <laughs> Yes. Be careful and drink and take the medicine, okay? Take the medicine. Claudia María Meléndez. 
Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. And Dianita. My God. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Genoveva. Miguel Ángel. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Ah, oh, no. Eh, Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Niña, la vamos acompañando en el trayecto. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking to my house. Yeah, be careful, be careful. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Eh, Silvia Zuleima. Present, teacher. Tatiana Michelle. Tati. Vilma Ivette. Present. Thank you very much. Yo creo que Tati anda con Diana. Marlene Nicole. Miss Marlene. Marlene. I have just seen her here. La acabo de ver y ya se me fue. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony. Okay, good. Thank you, my dear class. Thank you very much for answering the attendance. Thank you. Well, do you have your notebook with you, people? Yo una cabezada, no. No, but <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> so, no, don't worry. Don't worry, Rosy. Arrive home, arrive home, and then we can do it, okay? People, do you have your notebook with you? The rest of you, do you have your notebooks? Yes? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. We are going to use them. In this case, we are going to work a little bit on an activity for you to practice your vocabulary. And we are going to work on this activity that it's called Stop the Bus. And I know you have, done, you have done this before in Spanish, right? And it's easy and you say like, ah, I know it, but we're going to do it in English, right? We are going to do it in English and we are going to practice a little bit. It's just for a little bit of fun. I am going to write here the different letters that we are going to be working, right? And according to the letter that I ask, you are going to write a verb, an adjective, a noun, an animal, and a color with the letter. When you have it ready, you say, stop the bus. And everybody stops writing, right? De ahí todos los demás dejan de escribir. Okay, a verb, an adjective, a noun, an animal, and a color. With the letter that I am going to give you. Hagamos un ejemplo. So, imagine if I give you the letter, letter, I'm going to make it bigger for you to see it. Letter, chan, 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 F. If I give you letter F, write the example. One verb, one adjective, one noun, one animal, and one color with F. We are going to say, stop the bus. When you finish. Cuando, okay. las, tenga, cuando las tenga las cinco, stop okay. the bus. Y todos dejan de escribir. Okay. A verb, mm -hmm. an adjective, a noun, an animal, and a color with F. This is the first F. Yeah, that's the example. Ahorita estamos en el ejemplo. Uh -huh, I'm ready. <laughs> so you say, if you have it, you say. Okay, stop the bus. Ah, stop the bus. Oh, say stop the bus, people. Stop the bus. Manuel has all the letters, all the things. Manuel, tell me a verb with F. Oh, teacher, no, no. Ah, you haven't finished. Okay, okay, continue, 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 continue. A verb, an adjective, a noun, an animal, and a color. Cuando tengan los cinco, paramos el bus. 
Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Rosa has them. Stop, stop, stop. Rosa, a verb with F. Focus. Focus. Very good. An adjective. Friendly. Friendly. Very good. A noun. Fire. Fire. And an animal. Fish. Fish. And a color. Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Very good job. Very good job. Right? The color is fuchsia. And fuchsia. This is a very good thing. Remember the pronunciation. The pronunciation of the color is fuchsia. Okay. Fuchsia. And we always say in Spanish, what? ¿Cómo le dicen en, en el español ustedes en buen español? <laughs> in many of the cases, people say fuchsia. Fuchsia. And it's like, no, please, no, it's fuchsia. Fuchsia. Okay. Ready for the next letter. Vamos con la siguiente letra. Ready? Set and go. W. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. W. W, W, W. When you finish, say stop the bus. Go ahead. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Juan de Dios has it. No more oh. writing. <laughs> no more writing. <laughs> okay, Juan de Dios. Tell me, an, a verb with W. Where? Where, where right, where. where? An adjective? Uh, weekly. Weekly, very good. Well, that was like kind of an adverb adjective. Yeah, it's okay. A noun? Uh, Gwensel. Gwensel. What? Gwensel. Uh, uh, this is, no, this when, is name. This when, is name. Okay, but uh, I heard Wednesday. Uh, no. Wednesday, a name of people. Ah, okay. So that was new for me. I didn't know that one. But it's a noun, right? It's a noun. It's a proper noun. It's okay. An animal? An animal with W? A wolf. Wolf. Very wolf. good. A wolf. Do you have a different animal with W? Wheels. Whale. 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 What is the, the other one? Whistle. Yeah, a whistle. Very good, right? That is a, I think it's a comadreja, if I'm not mistaken. What is it, Normita? Comadreja, teacher. Yeah, comadreja. <laughs> I remember <laughs> the cartoon. The next one, a color with W. White. White. Very good. And a fruit? The more, this is the common. <laughs> a fruit? A fruit. A fruit with W? It's difficult. It's hard. It's a very common Water thing mellow. in El Salvador. Watermelon. Very good. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Watermelon. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Okay. Applause, Applause for you. Very good. Very good. The next one. Next letter. Okay. Attention. The next one. It's going. An easy letter, teacher. An easy letter. Uh, okay. An easy one. R. Go ahead, R. That's an easy one. Who's going to do it first? Aha, uh -huh. remember to say stop the bus when you have it. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. <laughs> Okay, Manuel, go ahead. Uh, um, the verb, and, uh, a verb, verb with R? Right. Right? R ah, right, 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 right. Good, good, good. Right. An, an adjective? adjective? An adjective, a runner? Mm, 
an adjective uh, runner. Uh, no, runner will be like a noun. A okay. noun, I have a rose. Rose, uh -huh. but an yes. adjective uh -huh. with R, what other adjectives do you have, people? Okay. Rose. Rude. Rude, right? Rude. 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 Oh, okay. Rude, right? An adjective with R, it's rude. Animal. An animal? Rabbit. Rabbit, very good. Another Rat. animal? Rat. Color. Color. <laughs> color? Red. 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 Another Red. color? Another color Rose. with R? Rose, right? Rose, that it's like the old pink. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to do with the last one. We're going to do the last one here, the last letter. We're going to work with letter S. Letter S. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, letter S. Remember when you finish, say stop the bus. Excelente, mi estimado. Sí, ahí dio las indicaciones al compañero. Está pidiendo copy. Letter stop, S. The stop the bus. Rosa Beatriz has the answers. Very good, Rosita. A verb with S. Smell. 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 Another one with S? Mm -hmm. Steel. Steel, right? Steel, smile. Sing, right? That's another verb with S. What about the adjective? It's small. It's small, it's stinky. <laughs> That's the adjective. Silly. Okay, silly. Very good. A noun with S, Rosie. Society. Society. Any other adjective, any other noun with S? Sound. Sound. Sandal, strawberry. Right, and an animal with S. Snake. Snake, right? Snake. Another... Which one? Spider. spider. Spider, right? Very good. Spider. Spider Man, Spider Man. Very good. Spider. Another animal with S? Seal. Seal. Very good, right? Seal. Ah, 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 ah. That's seal. And, um, Shrimp, also. Shrimp. Camarón. Shrimp, right? It's an animal. A delicious one, but an animal. Yeah. <laughs> Shrimp. And a color. Scarlet. A scarlet. And there is another one that is very common. Silver. Silver. Very good. Silver. Very nice, right? Very nice. Uh, action. I really like this game because it helps you to think, right? It helps you to think and analyze different things, right? And you can do it with any other category, right? That it's good. Ahí cuando tengan chance o a veces estén aburridos o tengan un su papel a la mano, play a little bit and write yourself and draw uh, different letters for you to use, right? It helps a lot. Well, so yesterday, my dear class, we were working on the linking words, right? The linking words are a very important part of um, the writing, right? When you have these uh, writing activities. What we are going to do right now is to practice a little bit on this one, right? We are going to practice a little bit on the linking words, right? The transitional words or the connectors, right, are the ones that you can use uh, in the different sentences for you to connect two ideas. You can use the following transitions instead of so, because this is the most common thing that you use. So and so and so and so, right? Instead of using so, you can say therefore, consequently, as a result, does and for this reason, right? Not only to say so, 
so, so, right? Because it's the very common thing that we always use it, right? Mm -hmm. So we have therefore, consequently, as a result, thus, and for this reason. Imagine that I give you the situation and you help me answer this with a connectors. I am going to put the ones that we're going to use. Okay. I am going to give you the first situation and you give me the second one, okay? You can write it down. I forgot to send the email. I forgot to send the email. Yo le doy la primera situación, ustedes me escriben el resultado. I forgot to send the email. As a result, the boss don't pay the, the bill. The boss? Don't pay the bill. Pasado, the boss? Uh, paid. Didn't. Didn't. Very yeah. good. Very good. As a result, the boss didn't pay didn't. the bill. Didn't pay the... Right? Didn't pay the bill. What is another another result? I forgot to send the email. Give me more examples. As, as a result. Uh -huh. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, as a consequence, as a consequence, I don't have a, a feedback. <laughs> <laughs> as a consequence, I didn't get feedback, right? Rosa, feedback. Rosa says, as a result, my coworkers were angry. <laughs> yes, because we didn't receive the paycheck. <laughs> so, Mr. Juan de Dios, I forgot to send the email. Uh, for this reason, uh... The order is not delivered. The delivered. Order, okay. Was not delivered. Very good. You see, this is the best part of learning. When you correct one time, lo corregí una vez. Les corregí el pasado una vez. ¿Qué pasó? Ustedes solo se están corrigiendo en las otras veces. Y eso es muy importante. Okay. You know, Yvette, I forgot to send the email. I'm very sorry. Yvette. Eh, la perdí, la perdí. <laughs> Ahí está. <laughs> Yvette, I forgot to send the email. What happened? Um, as a result, nobody uh, go to the reunion. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> okay. Nobody went to the reunion. <laughs> yeah. Nobody went to the meeting, right? To the meeting. Yeah. Reunion, reunion is mostly like like family members and stuff, right? The meeting. The meeting is for the for the office. The next one. Ah, I forgot. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't make the deposit. Sorry, I didn't make the deposit. What happens then? I didn't make the deposit. Due to we don't, we, due to I don't have uh, enough money. <laughs> due to that, I don't have enough money, right? It's like, thank you, teacher. Thank you for not making the deposit. <laughs> Let me see. I didn't, I didn't mention, uh, well, I didn't inform my husband that I was going to stay at the office. I didn't inform my husband that I was going to stay at the office. For this reason, he was asking for you. Ah, he was asking for me. Have you seen teacher Natty? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where she is, right? I she's forgot. Uh -huh. She's hungry. <laughs> he's hungry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Therefore, therefore hungry. he is hungry. Hungry. <laughs> hungry. Hungry and angry. Teacher, hungry hungry and, angry. and angry, right? So you know uh, your uh, your best friend, your best friend went out without you. Your best friend went out without you. Oh, Okay, for this reason, I don't talk to her anymore. Rosa, what is your, your answer? 
he is not my friend anymore. Ah, as a, as a result, he is not my friend anymore. <laughs> it's a matter, teacher. Hence, I, I, I'm going to play soccer. I am going to play soccer uh, alone without this person. <laughs> okay, that's the result. So that was like a kind of warm up for you to get into the different answers, right? I have here a couple of examples, right? I have here a couple of examples of sentences, right? Using the transition words. What is the first example that we have here? I have long been interested in science and animals. Therefore, I have decided to study biology in college, right? Repeat after me. I have long been interested in science and animals. I have, I have, long, have long, long been interested in, in science and animals. animals. Therefore, I have decided to study biology in college. Therefore, I have decided to study biology in college. The next one. The athlete was caught using drugs. The athlete, the athlete was caught using drugs. Consequently, he was kicked off of the team. Consequently, he was kicked off of the team. When you say he was kicked off, it's like out of here. Kick off. <laughs> it means like bye-bye. <laughs> the next one. Someone called in a bomb threat. As a result, someone called in a bomb threat. As a result, the school was canceled. Someone called in a bomb threat. As a result, the school was canceled. It's like they say, like, there is something dangerous in the school. So they canceled the school. No more school for everybody. <laughs> Here we can have a good example. Someone in the classroom got positive for COVID. As a result, <laughs> the classroom was canceled. The schools were canceled, right? No, my Some... fault. <laughs> it's not Rocio Veronica's fault, right? Because now she's, <laughs> she's going from here to there. Someone, <laughs> someone found a hair in their pizza. As a result, the restaurant was closed was closed the government didn't prepare for the hurricane thus many people suffered right the government did the not government prepare did not prepare for the, for the hurricane thus, thus many, people people many people suffered the government did not prepare for the hurricane the government, the government did not prepare for the hurricane. Not prepare for the hurricane. Uh, Thus, uh, many people suffered. Uh, Thus, uh, many people uh, suffered. Uh, okay, rent is too expensive in Boston. For this reason, rent. I have decided to move to Ohio. Rent, rent is too expensive. Rent is too expensive. For this reason, I have decided to move to Ohio. I have Ohio. decided to move to Ohio. Okay, Ohio. <laughs> it looks like. Are you in Ohio? No, I am very happy. <laughs> I used to waste all my time watching TV shows that I didn't even like. For this reason, I decided to give away my TV so that I might start getting more work done. I used to waste a lot of my time watching TV shows that I didn't even like. I used to waste all, used to waste all of my time watching TV shows that I didn't even like. For this reason, I decided to give away my TV that I might start getting more work done. Okay, for this reason, I decided to give away my TV so that I might start getting more work done. I so for this, for this reason, reason, I decided, I decided to give away my TV, away so, my that TV my so that I might start, start getting more work, work more work done. More work done. Very good job, more my dear. Work done. More work done, right? That's just like a more tongue twister. Done. More work done. And in this one, here we have two different sentences. Ha, it says, 
there was a terrorist attack last year. So you can bring a knife or a lighter on the plane. Can you give me this sentence, but using a connector? There was a terrorist attack last year. So uh, you can bring a knife or a lighter on the plane. As a result, you can bring a knife or a lighter on the plane. Very good job, right? As a result, as a consequence, for instance, thus, right? You can use the all of that. Therefore. Therefore, right? I dropped my cell phone and it stopped working. So I need to either buy a new one or borrow yours. Consequently. Okay, give me the sentence I, using consequently. I dropped my I cell dropped phone myself. and I stopped working consequently. So I need to mm -hmm. either e buy a new, uh -huh. a new phone or borrow yours. Okay, can you say consequently so? No. Why? No. Why you cannot use consequently so? Because they have the same meaning. Because they have the same meaning and because you are using consequently to replace so. so. That's okay. why you cannot use it together, right? You cannot use consequently and so together. So in this case, you say, I dropped my cell phone and it stopped working. Consequently, I need to either buy a new one or borrow yours. Okay. Imagine if your if your wife comes and says that it's like I need to buy another cell phone or give me your cell phone. <laughs> what would you say? Let's go to la cornucopia <laughs> to get another one. It's like oh oh mine. It, it broke too. <laughs> Crack the phone, right? Right? So that is uh, the reason. The next one, I have another example, but I need this one. I need you to write it down. The next one, it says, the pitcher threw the ball at the batter's head. So he was thrown out of the game, right? The pitcher, like in, the, in baseball, threw the ball at the batter's head. You know, the batters is the one that has the, the bat at the moment, right? But the pitcher threw the ball at the batter's head. So he was thrown out of the game. Can you give me the example using a connector? A pitcher threw the ball at the batter's head. Therefore, he was throw out of the game. He, therefore, he was thrown out of the game. Very good. At the batter's head, right? In la cabeza del bateador. And what about the last one? The weather is nice in the summer, but it rains almost every day. So <laughs> spring is my favorite season. Create the number four. The weather is nice in the summer, but it rains almost every day. So spring is my favorite season. Uh -huh. Hola. The weather is down. high in the summer, but it rains almost every day. Therefore, so spring is my favorite season. Ah, uh -huh. therefore so? Therefore, spring is my favorite season. Very good, very good. The weather is nice in the summer, but it rains almost every day. Therefore, spring is my favorite season. You can also say, although it rains almost every day, but instead of using but, but it's okay to use but in this case. So spring is my favorite season. Very good job. I have here a little example and we're going to do some reading time. What we are going to do here is to read the situations. We're going to practice a little bit of reading and intonation, okay? This is what we're going to do here, right? We're going to practice a little bit of reading and intonation. So for this one, my dear students, I am going to read it first, right? I need you to check it out, okay? Lo primero que vamos a hacer es que lo van a leer ustedes solitos. Para ustedes mismos. And then you are going to tell me if you have questions on vocabulary. 
If you don't have questions on vocabulary, I am going to go in the part of pronunciation. Then you are going to go and practice, and then we are going to do some reading out loud, okay? ¿Para qué nos sirve la lectura en voz alta? Para que usted escuche cómo está usando la entonación de las palabras, okay? In some cases, we say that, no, si yo leo bien bonito. But at the moment of listening to yourself, it's like, uy, no, right? So we need to be very careful at the moment of practicing reading, okay? So this is really important, right, to do it. We need to practice reading. I need you to analyze the sentence and I need you to tell me, um, I need you to tell me if you have any question about um, the vocabulary. Remember today, let me see if I have you here. Let me see, let me see. I will ask eh, Norma Carolina, remember that your one on one is today, okay? Recuerde que hoy es su día de uno a uno. Hoy se me queda un ratitito más. Before we continue, okay? Analyze the reading, please, for new words or new vocabulary. And if you have new, uh, new vocabulary, tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of? And I will answer. I will give you some more minutes for you to find new words or new vocabulary. Okay, new words, people, new vocabulary. Tenemos palabras nuevas. The meaning of rush, teacher, rush. Okay, rush. Rush. They are trying to rush the delivery. What happens when you do things in a rush? It's like, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you have, take, 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 take everything. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But you are doing everything in a rush. It, very fast. Aha, uh -huh. but how do you call that quickly. in Spanish? No, rush is when you are doing it quickly, but there's a reason. No caring about it. Lo estás haciendo a la carrera. So, because in some cases you do the things quickly, right? Hay cosas que las hacemos rápido y bien. But you said like you did things quickly. But if you rush the things, it's like, ay, 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 tenga, así que le quede, no vemos adiós. Como and then sea. you just leave. Exactly. You don't care about the result, but you do it. <laughs> it's like when you receive your pizza fast, 
but horrible. Okay. <laughs> you say like, huh? And this one, thank you very much, $5. Bye. <laughs> you say, shoo. <laughs> and they kick you out of the place, right? That's well, um, teacher, the, the meaning of hall, hallway. The hallway. Okay, on oh, my hallway. The hallway is pasillo. Like aisle. Exactly. Well, like aisle is pasillo, pero como de, de supermercado. Son como los pasillos, right? But the hallway is like in your house. For example, when you live in a building, for example, there is a hallway and then you have the rooms, right? Hay como un pasillo y de ahí atrás están los cuartos. O cuando usted vive en una segunda planta, tenemos como pasillo en la entrada y de ahí está la casa, right? A hallway. Okay. And then another one. Eh, lounge. The lounge. The lounge. The lounge. The lounge is like a, the place that you have before the living room, como un recibidero, algo así. It's like a little living room. Que es como una salita de estar. Right, that's the lounge. In some cases, yeah, it's kind of a reception. But for example, in the in the discotheques or in the cafes or in places like mm -hmm. this, there are like these little places with with furniture. Like, hay como lugares que tienen como sofás y cositas así para que se reúnan ahí, se sienten y estén cómodos. That's the lounge, right? And uh, to carry the sofa into my lounge, right? Para llevarlo a esta salita de de estar. Any other one? Un antesala. Exactly. Furniture. The furniture. Let me see. And I think I saw it right here. The personal. And it's just... furniture. Uh, I think it's. Yes, on there as a result. After, of, as a result. As a result down. As a result down. Tanta, this experience, uh, the yeah, no. furniture, oh, furniture shop, shop in the future. Very good. Furniture, it's in general all the muebles. all the muebles, right? Furniture. Yeah. El sofá, el, eh, los sofás pequeños, el sofá grande, el love seat, el sofá. So all this is furniture. Todos los muebles. El, la juguetera, eh, donde pone la tele, everything, oh. that's furniture, okay? Other one teacher, stain. A stain, right? Neighbor, here we have some, some ones, in the, some of them in the chat. It's say neighbor with, within, and a, thank you, Manuel, because you answer. A stain, let me get my pencil again. And here I have it, a stain. A red stain on it. Imagine that on your shirt, when you are eating, you are eating what? You are eating uh, pollito guisado, right? And then you are eating and then you're like, yum, 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 on the shirt. And then you have a big stain of pollo guisado here and you are like, oh my God. <laughs> oh. And the stain stays there, right? La mancha sigue ahí. So that's a mancha. Una mancha, stain. Any other question? Mint, teacher. Mint. 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 This one. Yeah. Which mint? It's the past tense of mean. Mm, mint. Okay. Significaba. Right? Mean is connect, significar. Uh -huh. The connector. To make matter worse. <laughs> well, Carolina mentioned it today. Carolina mentioned it today that she is sick, that she she's feeling bad, and that the medicine gives her nauseous. It's like uh, to make matters worse, the medicine instead of helping me, it damages. Right? Okay. Like para yeah, hacerlo like malo, peor. <laughs> Exactly like that, like la cereza del pastel, right? To make matters worse. Okay. Como quien dice, para hacerlo peor. Para hacerlo peor, right? To make matters worse. 
speak in good Spanish, you say like, para acabar de amolar, me yes. mojé. <laughs> to make matters worse. And when you say, given the situation, given the situation, it's exactly like the transcription, right? Given the situation, it's like, dada la situación, right? Given the situation, I must insist on an immediate replacement and at no additional cost to me. Any other new word, new vocabulary? No? Okay. Chicos, preguntas, dudas? Hey, hey, no, no more. No more. Within. Yes? Within. 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 And it is right here. Let me see. Let me just mark it on the sentence. Within the next 14 days. It says like, if you could deliver the new sofa within the next 14 days. Entre los próximos 40, 40 no, 14 days. It's like, entre ese periodo de tiempo. Within the next 14 days. Tienen ese periodo de tiempo para dárselo. Right? Entre esos 14 días se lo pueden dar. Right? Within the next 14 days. That's the meaning of within. Okay? So, in this one, eh, let me see. Well, I cannot see the camera for Rosy. I cannot see Carolina, Cristian, Mr. Danny, Anthony. Gusto de verle. Omar Francisco, Silvita. I cannot see your camera, Miguel. Thank you very much. Because that makes me and that helps me to know that you are here in the class and that you are participating. Right? Que no me cargan por allá friendo un huevo. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it, it happens, right? Me ha sucedido. <laughs> And Jose Rodrigo, I, I don't know if you have fixed the problem with your camera. And Omar, also, I cannot see your, your camera. It says, firstly, imagine the problem with this poor man. Is the poor man happy? I mean, according to what you have read, is the man happy with the service? With the idea that you no. have read? No, right. It says, firstly, the delivery did not arrive until after 11 p.m., which meant I had to stay up late. In addition, the driver was obviously trying to rush the delivery. On, on my order, I had clearly stated that I wanted the sofa putting into the lounge. However, the driver just put it in, the, in my hallway and then left. Left. It, <laughs> I was therefore forced to ask a neighbor to help me carry the sofa into my lunch. To make matters worse, the following day, I realized there was a bright red stain on it. Furthermore, when I called customer services, I was simply passed from person to person. Eventually, I spoke to a supervisor who accused me of causing the stain. Even though I had been a satisfied customer in the past, as a result of this experience, I am considering ordering from a different furniture shop in the future. Given the situation, I must insist on an immediate replacement at no additional cost to me. I would be grateful if you could deliver the new sofa within the next 14 days. Thank you very much, Miss Natty. So, you see, this was a big problem. It caused a lot of issues for the poor men, right? And we need to remember something before we go over the reading, that we need to respect the periods, right? Here we have the same period. Then you have another one here, delivery. And then you have the next one, where? ¿Dónde haríamos la siguiente pausa, chicos? Si estuviéramos leyendo. The next period. Lounge. The lounge. Okay, I, I am going to go with the commas in a moment. The lounge. What is the next period? Left. 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 Very good. Left. Lounge. Okay. Left. Lounge. Left. And the next one? Lounge. 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 Good. The lounge. Don't say lunch. This is lounge. 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 The lounge. next one? On it. On it. On it. On it. Right. What is the next one? Person. 
person, person. person. From person to person. The next one. Future. Ah. Mm. Here. Mm. In Same. this one, you don't have a period, but you have oh. an exclamation mark, and yes. it makes the end of the sentence. Yes. And the next one is. Future. Future. Future, right? The future. And the next one. To me. To me. To me. And the last one. Dates. 14 days. 14 right? days. These are the stops that you need to make when you are reading. These are full stops. Esas son como paradas completas que tenemos que hacer al momento de estar leyendo. Short stops in the commas, right? Here, here. And here you have, for example, in addition, comma, right? And then you have on my order, comma. And then we have here the other ones, however, comma, right? After each connector, you have a comma, as you can see here, right? You have a comma after each connector and also here along the sentences. In these ones, it means that you have to make a shorter stop at the moment of reading. Why? Because it's going to help you with the intonation. En inglés, como no tenemos tildes, siempre la puntuación es la que nos ayuda a leer mejor. So, you are going to say, firstly, the delivery did not arrive until after 11 p.m., which meant I had to stay up late. And you make a short uh, stop. In addition, the driver was obviously trying to rush the delivery. On my order... I have clearly stated that I wanted the sofa put in into the lounge. However, the driver just put it in my hallway and then left. I was therefore forced to ask a neighbor to help me carry the sofa into my lounge. To make matters worse, the following day I realized there was a bright red stand on it. Furthermore, when I called customer services, I was simply passed from person to person. Eventually, I spoke to a supervisor who accused me of causing the stain. Even though I had been a satisfied customer in the past, as a result of this experience, I am considering ordering from a different furniture shop in the future. Given the situation, I must insist on an immediate replacement at no additional cost to me. I will be grateful if you could deliver the new sofa within the next 14 days, okay? I need you, please, and for you to avoid, right? Y aquí se vamos a hacerlo eh, así para que evitemos confundirnos entre todos. With the microphone off, I need you to read the paragraph, okay? For your own. We are going to start right now. Go ahead. Con el micrófono apagado para que no nos confundamos. Go ahead. Read. Okay. Okay, so question, specific questions on pronunciation. 
¿Qué palabra les cuesta pronunciar? ¿Cuál se les hace más difícil? Hallway. Rocío, hallway. What is the meaning? Pasillo. Hallway. Okay. Uh -huh. Which one is difficult for you to pronounce? Furniture. Omar, furniture. Furniture. Muebles. Furniture. Lounge. Lounge. Rosa Beatriz. Lounge. Bright. Olga. Bright. Any other one? Which word is difficult for you to pronounce? Me la pueden enviar al chat, así como están haciendo sus compañeros. Right? I have lounge, furniture, bright, furthermore, eventually, even though, obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> furthermore, furthermore, right? Furthermore, the next one. Okay. Forced. Forced. Ask for all the like words. The in the... Which one? Forced, like a T at the end. Forced. I was forced, right? Yes, like a T. You don't say forced. Okay. No, you say forced. I was forced okay. to do forced. it. Pregunten ah. todas las que tengan que preguntar que les cuesten porque las van a ocupar. I send you the reading on the chat, people. Within, grateful, within, grateful. Satisfied, satisfied, grateful, grateful. Uh -huh. Accused, accused, stated, 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 lounge, lounge, Silvia, lounge, the lounge, sofa, sofa. Uh -huh. Don't be afraid, aunque ustedes digan, ah, es que no es que es muy sencilla, quizás todos lo saben. It's okay. Maybe other people are still asking for that. Okay, no more? If you don't have more questions, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. Okay, so far, considering, right? Considering. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I sent you the reading on the chat. So what I need you to do during the weekend and during Monday, right? Tenemos todo el fin de semana y todo el día lunes to do this. I need you to send and pay attention. I need you to send a voice note on the chat reading the paragraph. You have to send me a voice note on the chat reading the paragraph. What, teacher, what? Yes, it's going to help you with your confidence, with your fluency, with your pronunciation, with your intonation, with everything. It is going to even to break the barrier of the fear. What are you going to do? You are going to put a voice note and you are going to say, ah, ah, ah. firstly, the delivery did not arrive until after 11 p.m., which meant I have to stay up late. In addition, the driver was obviously trying to rush the delivery. On my order, I had clearly stated that I wanted the sofa putting into the lounge. However, the driver just put it in my hallway and then left. 
I was therefore for to, uh, forced to ask my neighbor to help me carry the sofa into my lounge. So you are going to tell me the story, the complete story on a voice note, right? Le va a tomar como un minutito. But you can practice, read, practice, 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 and then you can send it during the weekend, right? Me lo pueden enviar durante el fin de semana o durante el día lunes. No les pido que me lo envíen ahorita porque necesito que lo hagan bien. Okay? So I need you to practice. I need you to practice the reading. Leanlo tantas veces quieran. And when you feel sure about it, send me the voice note. Okay? That is going to be really helpful for your pronunciation, for your vocabulary, for your uh, confidence. Right? Grateful, Juan de Dios. Grateful on the chat. So, it is going to be very beneficial for you. Ya van a ver que este ejercicio les va a ayudar un montón a quitarse hasta la pena de hablar ahí en, y que todos lo oigan. Can you read it again? <laughs> for sure I can read it again, <laughs> Rosa Beatriz. That's pretty nice. Pay attention. I am going to read it once. Uh, grabando. Que vea. Ah, no, but the, the video is going to be here in the class. So, listen, right? Listen. Pay attention. <clears throat> Firstly, the delivery did not arrive until after 11 p.m., which meant I had to stay up late. In addition, the driver was obviously trying to rush the delivery. On my order, I had clearly stated that I wanted the sofa put in into my lounge. However, the driver just put it in my hallway and then left. I was therefore forced to ask a neighbor to help me carry the sofa into my lounge. To make matters worse, the following day, I realized there was a bright red stain on it. Furthermore, when I called customer services, I was simply passed from person to person. Eventually, I spoke to a supervisor who accused me of causing the stain. Even though I had been a satisfied customer in the past, as a result of this experience, I am considering ordering from a different furniture shop in the future. Given the situation, I must insist on an immediate replacement at no additional cost to me. I will be grateful if you could deliver the new sofa within the next 14 days. Okay, so that will be your homework, people. Ah, ahí está. Hoy lo vamos a tener practicando. So, Within, you say, within. Easy. Easy, that's very easy, people. It's a very easy homework indeed. Ya les habían dejado tareas así. No, right? <laughs> Only you, on, until you met teacher Nati. Okay, before we do the last exercise of the class, I am going to call the attendance, my dear students. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Okay? Le dicen a Dianita de la tarea, no la vayan a dejar ahí abandonada. Ay, todos la entregamos, teacher. Right? Sí, Carolina. Sí, Carolina y Amilet. Present. Claudia María. Present, teacher. Cristian Natalie. Present, teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Mm, she's not here. Jorge Humberto. Present, teacher. Jose Carlos. Present, teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan de Dios. Present, teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present. Miguel. Miguel Domínguez. Mr. Miguel. Hey, se me perdió Mr. Miguel. Acaba de estar aquí. Oh. Eh, Nelson Gabarreta. I'm here, teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present, teacher. Silvia Zuleima. Present, teacher. Tatiana Michelle. Vilma Ivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco. Present. Dani Anthony. Danny, thank you. Danny is here. I don't know what's going on with your 
with your microphone. But if you can listen to us, send me the present in the WhatsApp group, Danny, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's do this final exercise of the night. And for this one, we are going to work in little couples, right? We're going to make little groups. And what we are going to do is to use this part of the connectors, right? We have used a lot of the connectors, but in this case, we are going to use these ones. We are going to use the ones for order, okay? We are going to use the ones for order. These are the ones that you are going to use. Firstly, second, third, finally, following, before, after, right? You are going to use the ones for order. And with your couple, what you are going to do with your couple is to explain a process, right? You are going to explain a process of what? How to make a phone call, how to send a message on WhatsApp, how to make a sandwich, how to prepare cereal, how to connect to Zoom, right? How to receive a class, how to, I don't know, how to prepare an egg, right? You have to choose a process and you have to describe it. A simple process. No me voy a poner ahí. ¿Cómo instalar el hardware a una computadora? <laughs> that would be a very difficult process. Or it was like, ¿Cómo hacer una página web? <laughs> that would be a very complicated process. Choose a simple one. Choose a simple process. How to shower a cat. First, get a cat and then shower it. No, right? Get a simple process and describe it using the different connectors that we have here. You can use other connectors if you want, but the idea is that you choose a process and you describe it, okay? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. A simple process, people. Please don't complicate that much. It will be a simple thing. I am going to make little groups and we are going to do it in a very quick way, okay? So when you have your process ready, we are going to, I am going to be in the different groups and in the groups you are going to be explaining me the process, okay? So I have six groups of three and you are going to describe a simple process. Let's go to the groups right now. I am going to send you the picture of the transitional words. Okay. There you go. I am missing. Rocio Veronica, she's entering. And let me see. Ok, Normita, no le digo la invitación para el grupo. Me salí, teacher, por error. Ah, ok, sí, ahorita no. voy. Ahí voy. And here you go. Eh, ok, you were with, ¿con quién le había tocado? Con Ivette y Jorge. Creo que era el grupo 3 que decía, teacher. Ok, ok, yeah. there you go.
Ok, Dani. Eh, Dani, Dani, no sé si me escucha. Si puede, comuníquese conmigo en el WhatsApp. Yes, tell me. Okay, uh, we are discussing about about the topic. Just mm -hmm. one topic or no? It's uh, one per group. One For topic. example, in, in this case, one. you are going to describe only one process. And you are going to say, for example, hello everybody, we're group number one and we are going to teach you how to make an egg. Okay. How to fry an egg. First, get an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Second, get a pan, right? La cacerola. Uh, after this, or uh, yeah. get some butter, pero, right? Pero primero but, tenemos que no. discutirlo. Yeah, you have, to, you have, no, you have to discuss first what is the process that you want to explain. That is the first okay. one. And then create the process, right? Entre todos creen el proceso, van ah. armando los pasos. And yeah, then uh -huh. at the end, any of you can explain. Si todos van armando los pasos, and, cualquiera puede explicar. And the, at the end, you are ready to eat. <laughs> exactly. But how are you going to put the butter if you don't turn off the fire? So you say, then get a pan. Then turn on the fire. Yes. Then put the pan on the fire. Yes. And then put some margarine. Then open the egg. <laughs> and you see, it's a big process. It's not that simple. Yes, yes, it's a big yes. In detail. Yes. Go ahead. Using the okay. connector. Using the connect. I send you the connector. I have the been chat. studying. Great. You can I, use other connectors. Don't I go, worry. I go, go ahead. La mayonesa mostaza. Mayonesa mostaza. Uh -huh. What are you Salad. doing? A sandwich. Salad. Salad. Oh my God. <laughs> we are very healthy. I know you are very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly if you are doing a fresh salad that has a lot of elements. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing a sandwich. How to prepare a sandwich? <laughs> Hello. I put the bread, the cheese, and the bread. <laughs> uh -huh, but use the connectors. These are like, first, put the bread. Firstly, yes. Uh -huh, so you have to use the connectors to do the steps. That's the idea. Okay. Before, okay. I send you the connectors on the chat. Ahí les envié algunos conectores al chat. Pueden usar otros. Yes, yes. It's okay. Okay. So continue working. Okay. A menos que vaya thoroughly. First, foremost. Ajá. What are you cooking? Okay. ¿Qué están haciendo? A ver. No. <laughs> yes, frozen of strawberry. <laughs> a strawberry frozen. I, I I love the way you you do things. Uh, I mean, something that seems easy, you make it difficult. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> because on the previous group, I was I was with the previous group, and they say a complete a uh, fresh salad. Imagine all the things that a fresh salad has. <laughs> and all the problems. Okay, what is the question? Um, mm. How how do you, how do you use the contrast? The contrast. Uh, no, 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 no. You are going to use the okay. How do you use the contrast? <laughs> you want to use both. We, okay, what do you want to what do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que querían decir? ¿Qué es lo que querían añadir? Okay. Uh -huh. Well, in this case, I need you to use like the, the order, only the order, right? Send you one on the chat. Ahí se los envía el chat. Mm. Solo para describir okay. el proceso, right? 
Because if you use okay. the other one, the, <laughs> the contrast, you can say like, unlike other, uh, unlike any other frozen, the strawberry frozen is the mm -hmm. most delicious, right? That's how you can use it. But I need you to use only the connectors for order, okay? For order. Okay. In this okay. case, okay? Let me see. Thank you. You're welcome. You were using everything. Ya ven, ustedes siempre me dan la mía extra. Me encanta. <laughs> always, always. Okay, continue, continue. I'm going to go and check the other group. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Oh, teacher. Hello. What are you doing? Hey, what are you? What is your process? We're making a sandwich. Preparing a sandwich. Easy and nice. I was coming from the yeah. other groups and they are preparing fresh salad, frozen, and many other complicated things. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Something simple, right? A sandwich. What is the idea of how to prepare a sandwich? What is the first step? Uh, uh, to get all the ingredients that there are uh, bread, cheese, mayonnaise, uh, tomato, lettuce, ketchup, and cucumber. And cucumber. Then, cucumber. Uh, secondly, uh, cucumber. Cucumber, okay. Yes. And secondly, we have to wash all the vegetables and cook in a small slices. Very good. And thirdly, roast the bread. And finally, add all the ingredients. Uh, this time, you have your sandwich ready for it. <laughs> okay, very good. See, simple, nice, and easy, right? You say, like, first, get all the ingredients. Then, wash all the ingredients. After this, <laughs> prepare the, the bread. Mm -hmm. and then, put all the ingredients together. And then, eat and enjoy your sandwich right very good right organize the idea very well because we're going to go back to the room in a second okay organize your put the mask in the waven in the waven in the what waven <laughs> what is the waven waven orno ah oven, oven. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. And I was like, in the way. <laughs> in the what? I what are you doing? We are, we are preparing. Uh, office. We are preparing. Office. We are preparing what? A cake. A cake. A cake. <gasps> my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love how my students take everything to the next level. I said like, how to prepare cereal, how to prepare a sandwich, how to prepare an egg. I said like, cake. <laughs> With decoration and everything, people. Fantastic. I, I really like when you, when you do these processes a little bit better than before. Okay, good. So let's go back to the main room because I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. can I say molde? Molde. In the mold, mold, M-O-L-D, mold. Mm -hmm. Or the container, you can say. You can say the mold, the container. Oh. The cake, the cake mold, or the container. Um, meter en el horno. Um, Put it in the oven. To put it in the oven, in the oven. Yeah. Thank you. Cold. Okay, let's go back. Okay, students, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so many of you are coming back and that's fantastic. Well, my class, as you know, the type of process you are doing, as you know, the type of process you are following, 
right? I'm getting everybody back. Voy a dejar que todos se vuelvan a conectar. Tengo todavía unos que otros dispersos. Three, two, one, and they're back. Okay. So, thank you very much for sharing with your groups. I, you know what I really love from this group is that you always take everything to the next level. I really love it. I say like, let's do it like this. And you do it like this. And that's fantastic. I really love it. So each of you knows the process that you are following. Try to write it down on your notebook. Try to organize it. Try to put it in good vocabulary, in good order, very order, very organized ideas. Because on Monday, I am going to be asking you that first time in the class, OK? So when we come back on Monday to the classes, I am going to ask one by one to tell me the process that you wrote on your notebook, okay? So take your time to organize it in a very good way. You can find other connectors. You can find more vocabulary to have a process completely made, okay? So I send you to uh, your weekend with two homework. The process that you have it, but you have to polish it. And the second one, the reading, okay? So my dear class, have a beautiful weekend. I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. I really enjoyed it today. It was a very nice thing. Have a beautiful night. I am going to stay for a couple of minutes with Norma. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Have a nice night. Thank you. Very good night. Hello, Normita. Welcome. Welcome to your one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What a, what a beautiful moment, right? You know, I really like this moment because I have the opportunity to get to know you a little bit better, to have this interaction with you, right? Only for you, right? And it is a, it is a very good thing because I can have the chance to actually listen to what you think about the class, what you need, and in a different way, um, also how uh, can I help you with the things that you need, okay? So Norma, tell me in general, how have you felt in class? ¿Cómo se ha sentido en la clase? Bastante, um, very good teacher with you. Um, I, I'm cómoda, no sé cómo decirlo, me siento cómoda. <laughs> I feel comfortable. I feel, I feel comfortable. 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 Say comfortable. Comfortable with there. you. Nice. And what about the topics? ¿Cómo se ha sentido con el contenido? Es um, algo difícil. But with the practice is, I need practice more, teacher. Okay, you need to practice more. What do you think it's a part of the language that you need to work more? Um, grammar. Grammar, okay, you need to practice grammar. And uh, for the other areas, do you think that you are doing well right now? For uh, listening, reading? Uh, listen, uh, yes. Yeah. Igual, teacher, de todo un poquito. De todo un poquito, right? But yeah. mostly grammar. Yes. Maybe in the in the level of importance, we have grammar, uh, reading, vocabulary, listening, speaking, right? So all of them are important. Ok. Eh, con la plataforma y los contenidos de la plataforma, Carolina, ¿ha tenido alguna dificultad? Mm, only with the mention the the what? But is here. Uh, error nada más de la, de la plataforma, nada más. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. the finish. Okay, you finish, finish with the platform. Okay, perfect. And um, let me see. And for sure, if you have issues with grammar, I will uh, I will try to get you more material. I am constantly looking for things for you to practice, right? Si se fija, de repente les estoy mandando cositas ahí para que lean, para que practiquen en el grupo. Así que igual ayer les envié el link de los conectores para que los revise un poco. Ahí hay más ejemplos para que lo podamos okay. ver. 
And also with the videos from the manuals, as I was telling you before, try to watch the videos, try to stop them, try to read them, the videos. You can put the subtitles on the videos of the manual. El manual recomienda muchos videos, no sé si se ha fijado, que tiene como sí. muchos links para videos. So my best recommendation is for you to check on the videos, right? Check on the vocabulary, check on the grammar, and also, uh, do you like to watch a series, Norma? Series, yes. What is your favorite? A strange Things, I a think. Strange uh, Things, a Stranger Things. Okay, a Stranger Things. If you watch it on a, on, on a streaming channel like Netflix or something like that, um, try to put the subtitles in English. In, okay, leave a space, for example. Deje una frase. Que pase una frase, de ahí póngale pausa, léala, analícela, escuche cómo la dicen, de ahí vuelva a poner, and then read it for you, ¿ok? Esa es como una técnica que puede ocupar con, la, con las series que usted ve. Eh, deja que pase una frase, como por ejemplo de unos 3, 4 segundos, le pone pausa, la lee en el subtítulo en inglés, obviamente, right Y de ahí la retrocede. La vuelve a poner, la escucha como la dice. La retrocede, la repite. Okay. Esa es como una estrategia que puede ir haciendo con sus series. And it helps you a lot to, to train the ear and the mouth, right? For you to speak similar to the characters, right? So that is something, that's a tip that you can do with, uh, with the series that you like. Also with the music, right? With the music, you can do the same. You can get the lyrics, you can listen, repeat, Listen, repeat, listen and repeat, right? You can get on the lyrics of the songs so you can actually check on what they are saying, okay? Always, when you when you like a song, for example, in English, look for the lyrics and read at the time that you listen to the song. That is going to help and you a lot. Too. And write it too, right? You can write it as well. I am going to share, and I think in your case, I have a very good link for... Uh, questions and answers in English. And so you can get vocabulary on, and grammar with this link. En este link que le voy a enviar, hay como una colección de preguntas y respuestas. Está como en, en vivo todo el día. Entonces ahí hay temas de todo. Hay temas de animales, por ejemplo, y ya salen un montón de preguntas relacionadas a ese tema. De ahí pasan a cocina, por ejemplo, un montón de preguntas relacionadas a cocina. And you are going to see that you are going to get vocabulary you are going to get more ideas. You are going to get also more pronunciation skills and for sure ideas on grammar, okay? So okay. that it's going to help you a lot. And for sure, Norma, if you have any further question about any topic, si hay de repente algún tema que se le complique mientras lo vamos viendo, no duden en decirme, teacher, ¿me puede mandar extra información de ese tema? O necesito un poquito más de refuerzo, o necesito un poquito más de explicación. Y con gusto hacemos otra reunión de estas para explicar el tema. Sí, ok. Sí, muchas gracias. That will be a pleasure for me. Thank you, Norma, for, for these minutes that you gave me. And for sure, have a beautiful night. And I'm going to see you on Monday. Send me the audio, ok. Yes, teacher. Thank, Thank you, Norma. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Have a good night, Norma. Bye. Bye.